a disappointing end to a frustrating season. We do have a bitter taste in our mouth. After a promising start in 2009, Cal's pursuit of a Pac-10 title fell short once again. Well, we've been chasing it for so long. In 2010, expectations have not changed. Our goal is to win the Pac-10, and we're not going to let up till we do. Having lost a Heisman hopeful, the Bears' backfield reloads. Who's the next Cal running back destined for Sunday glory? We have a lot of goals that we need to accomplish. We don't feel like we have the respect that we deserve. A new season with a new defensive philosophy. Why Pac-10 quarterbacks should be worried. We're definitely looking to cause a lot of disruption in the backfield this year. The Golden Bears are ready for some football. Are you? Cal Football 2010 is going to be exciting. Is this the year the Golden Bears stake their claim atop the Pac-10? From the campus of UC Berkeley, I'm Damon Andrews, and welcome to the 2010 Cal Football Preview Show. No team has been more accomplished in conference over the last eight years than Cal, with eight consecutive winning seasons, five bowl game wins, and seven big game wins over Stanford, which are all school records, under one man, head coach Jeff Tedford. Cuts outside, stays on his feet inside the five into the end zone. He scored 146 points in the first three games of the season a year ago, and uh, a good portion of that offense is back in Shane Vereen, Kevin Riley, and Marvin Jones. What can we expect from the offense in 2010? You have some guys who, who have some experience. Shane played in a backup role mainly to Javid last year, and then as Javid went out midway through the season, Shane carried um, you know most of the load. and so. Uh, we know what to expect from him. He's a great player. Uh, Marvin Jones has proven that he's a quality receiver. He's one of the best receivers in the nation. Um, need to go to him a little bit more this year. He, he'll be our go-to guy. Very solid player, big range, strong, um, strong competitor. Uh, and then Kevin Riley, you know, I, I don't know that many people know, but Kevin Riley is the active leader uh, and starts touchdown passes and wins in the Pac-10. So we're really hopeful um, that that experience pays dividends for us. And uh, I think Kevin's ready to, to have a great senior year. Uh, the offense uh, it seems to be fully loaded, Coach. And uh, you're going to really get a test right after you see Davis. Uh, you welcome in the newest member of the Pac-10 in Colorado. Um, changing uh, your thoughts on from the Pac-10 to the quote-unquote 12-pack now. Well, you know, I think the, the expansion is, is very positive. Uh, I think Commissioner Scott, the Pac-10 Commissioner, has done a great job of, of thinking outside the box and getting this thing going. And obviously, it's going toward a, a conference championship game. Uh, it's going to give us a little showcase. Um, so I, I think there's going to be a little bit more attention on the Colorado game because of the expansion and them coming into the league. Just looking across the board and, uh, and, and what the Pac-10 represents, many uh, you know preseason and critics predict a lot of parity across the board. What, what are your thoughts? I agree. Yeah, you know, I think parity is, is at an all-time high in the Pac-10, at least since I've been a head coach at Cal. Uh, I think every single week you have to be prepared to play your best game uh, because any anyone can beat you on any given Saturday. And uh, last year we had five teams with the same record. You know, so that just shows you that we're knocking each other off week in and week out. And so it's a long season, and there's a lot of things that have to come together uh, to win this conference. Coach, uh, looking back to a game last season, um, a really unusual game and a win against Arizona, a lot of twists in that game. Uh, you held up Nick Foles uh, into two interceptions and limited them to 73 yards on the ground. Of course, a, a large part of that defensive front is gone in Tyson and Sidquan Thompson. Uh, what can we expect from the defense in 2010? And, and who are the big contributors in your mind? We have a lot of guys back on defense and uh, really excited um, about our new defensive coordinator, Clancy Pendergast, who um, was in the Super Bowl just two short years ago uh, as a defensive coordinator for the Cardinals. And um, our guys were really excited through the spring, uh, a lot more uh, aggressive on defense. Uh, and even though we did lose two great players in Tyson and Sid, we feel like we're really strong in the back end. We have some guys who played there last year. And then Cameron Jordan kind of kind of takes that role over that Tyson uh, had last year. He's, he's a great player. He can run. He's very physical. He's a leader of that group, along with some other guys. I, I think you know our depth on defense is as good as it's been in a few years. Coach, um, parity across the board in the Pac-10. Um, with that said, is this the first year that Jeff Tedford wins a Pac-10 title? 
Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been chasing it for so long, and over the last eight years, we're, we have the second best record of anyone in the Pac-10, it's SC and us. And so we've been there quite a few times knocking on the door, and this would be a great year to knock it down. You know, we're going into this camp, we're gonna focus on day to day. We're gonna take one day at a time and not get too caught up on the big picture. Entering his senior year, starting quarterback of the Golden Bears, Kevin Riley hopes to improve upon statistical career highs across the board. But who is the man behind the numbers? What makes him tick? And most important, which Kardashian sister would he date? We asked his teammates in an effort to find the real Kevin Riley. No, I don't know Kevin Riley's birthday, but I know he's older than most people on the team. September, he looks like a September guy. Well, I don't know if anyone really knows when it is. His birthday is the day he was born. He always likes to grow his mustache out in November for Movember. So I'm gonna go ahead and say November. My birthday is January 27th. Oh! He had a middle name? <laughs> like a David or a, a Christian or something? Kevin Randall. I'd like to go with Woodrow. My middle name is McDevitt. It was my grandmother's maiden name. McDevitt? McDevitt. I wouldn't have guessed that one. Five? Four? Four. I want to say four. I'll go with four. I think it was Marilyn with four. <laughs> what other doubt it'd be Kim. Hopefully you can go for Kim. I'll say the youngest one. She's the prettiest. I think definitely Kim. I think Courtney is the most beautiful of the Kardashians, personally. Um, and I would like to date her. I would say Courtney, because uh, Kim's just been with too many guys, I feel like. The Cal Bears bolstered their receiving core with the signing of Keenan Allen, a five-star recruit from North Carolina. Ranked fifth in the country on the rival's top 250 list, Allen is expected to compete for playing time alongside the likes of Marvin Jones and Jeremy Ross. The six-foot-three-inch, 195-pound freshman could also see time at defensive back. In 2010, Cal returns five of its top eight leading receivers, including junior standout Marvin Jones. On the watch list for this season's Bolitnikoff Award, Jones had a breakout season in 2009, leading the team in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns. So who are the players to watch on offense in 2010? Here's Barry Tompkins with his prediction. Well, offensively for the Cal Bears, it's really difficult to point to one guy because I think it's really all about two guys, at least before the season starts. The Bears have always used a two-back offense, and it's a given that Shane Vereen is going to be the number one back. The big question, can they get production out of the number two back? It will either be Kovan Dabosky johnson or DeSarte Yarnway. I think those are the two key guys on the offense because they have to get production out of the number two running back who always will get 10 to 15 carries a game. Kevin Riley, he needs to be consistent. And that's the bottom line for the Bears on offense. When we return to the 2010 Cal Football Preview Show, which Cal running back led the Bears in rushing yards in 2009 despite only starting four games? It wasn't job at best. We've got the inside scoop on Shane Vereen. Don't go anywhere.